Can we use the crank from the other tractor? No, I think we get this machined. Unless we end up using that other oil pump. And we might want to use that other well, No, so we want to put the balancer back in. Well, it does keep it balanced. At idle. It's the only time you notice it. Yeah. Essentially, the balancer is two weights that spin like this to make up for the other two cylinders of a six cylinder. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. So when those are going up, the balancer is going down. Right. You know, and when the cylinders are going the opposite, it's always going the opposite way of the cylinder. But it, it's, also, it's also double speeded. So how does that work? It's double speeded to make up for, I'm assuming, the two pairs. Because these cranks are 180 offset. Do you remember I eliminated the one in that Volkswagen? Yeah. You could not tell. No. But that was a five the cylinder. Vibe, the Vibe, no, that was a four cylinder. That was one little, what was it? A 2.0 T. It was a yeah. 2.0 T in an 07 Passat. You don't trust this one because you think those bearings took a beating. Those bearings come out, and then, you know, it kills you. Beautiful. Another reason to reset. So this one's nice too, huh? Yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. You know. Gosh, it's like, it's just the cranks beautiful. Just take it there, Boy. take them, take it down there. I'm turned one. What a shame. What a catch twenty two. Because we would never have this engine if they didn't ruin it. Yeah, I know, but that they ruined it is just, uh, it's so it's sad. sad. <laughs> oh, well. Here's what it is. Got to throw a little kitty litter in that. Call it a night. Hmm. Is there idling to death? Yes. On its side? At least when Pete flipped his 977, he had the good sense to sh shove the throttle down to off position <laughs> as he rode it over. <laughs> that was spooky. That's a big machine to come around the corner and see laying on its side. You think somebody's going to be dead, but nope, he was just standing up in the cab <laughs> sideways. <laughs> All right, call it a night. Okay, got to tear this motor down. That 336 BD. Um, so we got to pull the crank out. To do that, I got to get this rear main seal housing off, and looks like that bolt right there is holding me up. I'll have to take that out. Can't get it off with that in the way. And this pulley has to come off. But that seems to be working out pretty good. It's it's turning. It's coming off fairly easy. Just got to crank this. Yeah, it's moving. Nice. So I'm going to pull that off, and then I'm going to take this timing cover off. And I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I have to actually take holding things upside down. I'm not sure if I have to actually take the um, injector pump off or not. But I guess I'll find out. I think what I'll do first is take this cover off right here. See what the gear is doing back there. I don't know how that, I don't know how that, oh, you know what? I've got the book on it, though. <gasps> I can look in the book. That's what I'll do first. got to clean up the floor a little bit, stuff, so I can get my engine hoist over here. Because I don't want to lift it up by hand. I think it's pretty hefty. I mean, I could do it, but why struggle? Got to take a couple caps off. Here's a weird thing. This cover wouldn't come off. I had to pop the seal out. Because there's, uh, the way it's webbed, it wouldn't come past that gear. <laughs> Kind of strange. So, had to pop the seal out so it can pull it. Yeah, now it comes right off. Okay, that got me into the timing. There's cam, timing gears, all that stuff. Anyway, so this will be my next thing. I'll uh, pop the pop that crank out and see what the block looks like. Here's something looks a little funny. I this has a a little pusher here to hold the cam in position. I guess it's a spring loaded uh, uh, pin. And it just pushes against the house. It looks like it got chewed up a little bit. I don't know if this is like a common ailment on these things. Or maybe because it was running without oil on its side. But that definitely got damaged. So I'm going to have to figure that out. See what's causing that or what's going on. 
I mean, I didn't see any real damage on a cam anywhere. And I wonder if, because it was laying on the side running without oil, and it did seize up the that bearing and that other, that bearing. I wonder if it did something to the cam that made it push. Maybe it made it, hmm, spinning on a helical gear might have shoved it that way if the cam was getting stiff or something was going on with that or the valve train. Well, well that's something we're going to have to look into. Just not sure. Huh. All right, pull the crank out. Pull the crank out. Yeah, I got a rag. Kind of got one right here. I got a rag. So there's one main that's spun as that middle one. The other ones, the bearings all look great. <laughs> like, really good. You see there, oh yeah. A little bit of burning. You can see it's spun, huh? Well, I guess what we do is put the cap on there and uh, mic yeah, it. Mic it Just gotta mic it. I got, I got a couple mics coming. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that looks promising. <laughs> Pull one of these bearings out, Con, and see what it looks, see what the saddle looks like without, without it having being spun. I think you're gonna notice it, it looks different. Not really. Not much. It really doesn't. There's no big grooves either. And there's no big, it might have just gave it one little turn and locked. Well, you know, it could have been the final turn of the engine. Yeah. Was on that. Again, be a, wishful thinking. Well, <laughs> we'll see what Mike's out. That's we're very hopeful. <laughs> hopeful, guys. That don't look bad. That number three connecting rod that we thought was going to look pretty beat up. Doesn't look like there's any transfer at all on that. This one, maybe not so good. It's a little hotter. That one got hot. So that one spun a little bit. But you know what? If they mic out okay, yeah, then that's good. It did. I don't see a lot of transfer. What's the back of the bearing look like? Back of the bearing looks pretty decent. Looks it's just getting a little coppery oh, color I'm right there, it. but it really don't look bad, except for having that it seized itself to the crankshaft. So here's the crankshaft. Kind of is a one bearing here, welded itself together like it's a single one piece bearing. See it? Number yeah. three. That one spun. That one That's grabbed. That's that main we're talking about. Yeah, that was that main. That's still grabbed onto the. That's hooked right onto it. Pretty good still. So we'll have to. Well, chisel it take off. A, a take bit. a screwdriver and knock that off for a chisel. Yeah, and this one here, this one's stuck. Oh, got it. It's sitting on that. All right, it's this guy. Yeah, that's the dirtiest. Dirtiest, meanest looking one. That got hot. That got hot and just welded itself right to the crank. Well, it didn't weld itself, but it, it took a beating. You this see the split, Connor? Yeah, right there. There we go. You got it? Oh, yeah. I got a feeling that journal probably won't look so great. I got a feeling it's not going to look that bad. Transfer. Yeah, it ain't that bad. That's that's what stopped it right there. Yeah. I think that it spun the bearings on like the last few turns of the engine run. Yeah, that's when it just spun. Yep. It didn't run with it. it didn't, it didn't run, run with it. Run, run spinning. spinning. It just was idling and slowly came to a halt. A screeching halt, no doubt. <laughs> it's like putting the brakes on, real light. <laughs> yeah. And that still makes a lot of heat. Oh, yeah. But that really, that don't even hardly look bad. That don't look bad. I can't even feel that. Yeah. I could polish that up with emery. That's just transfer. Yeah. Oh, these are cross-drilled. See, the crank's cross-drilled. You can see right to it. They build these nice. Look at yeah, the they, chamfer yeah, edges. Chamfered up nice. yep. That's cross-drilled. This one's cross-drilled. Look at that filled the chamfer with, with material. It did. So. It did. So this, this crank's going to the machine shop. We'll just I think have we're going to gonna clean it up with that acid first, though. You know, oh, yeah? Acid. Yeah. That's pretty. Yep. You're going to take all that 
bearing material off and see what the crank itself actually looks like. What are you saying? Saying we're not going to just run off to the machine shop. Oh, you say we emery it up? Yeah, let's clean it and look and see first. Oh, here's another one here. This, this one was beat up too, remember? Look at that. Yep, down the copper. copper. But nothing's flat. It just, it just slowly spun itself to a stall, and that really, that does not feel bad. Usually you feel, we'll see. you know. Once we, you know, and this didn't leave as much stuff because it really burned it out. You know, this got down to the copper. There's no real, those are a little bit nail catchers right there, but man. I almost think we could just emery it up, put it back together if it's intolerance. Well, we will. We'll emery it up, mic it, and see if it, see if it, what about oblonging? You think it got oblonged? No, because oblonging I think would be more of a, of a hitting. You see it, yeah. It, know, it, it didn't hammer. pound too bad. It just, just spun and shut down. A little wear ridge there. Huh. Well, I know the rest of these journals are perfect. That one's a little rough, but not bad. Huh. Clearance is 0 .006. Okay, so we're looking at this book. It's the old, um, what are they used to buy these at the tractor supply store, Central Tractor is called, the IT manuals. Seven bucks, <laughs> a lot of info for seven bucks. Wait a minute, I paid like 30 on eBay. So if it's, okay, clearance is six thousandths, and if it's out of round by two thousandths, you gotta get a reground. Right. Uh, bearing liners are available in undersize. Yep. They give you two thousandths, ten thousandths, twenty thousandths, and thirty thousandths. Mm -hmm. so. Anyway, so I cleaned up this crankshaft. First, it, we, we scraped it off with a razor. Then we went to 320 grit, and we just polished it off. And uh, I'm thinking it looks pretty good. I just went over the whole thing with this caliper, digital micrometer caliper. And everything's coming up pretty pretty specky. I don't. It's actually reading a, a slightly bigger, but this caliper. I don't. I know. I'd like to have a micrometer, not the not the caliper style, the micrometer style. You know, to really check it. But I think we're going to plastic gauge everything. I think we're pretty close to the next step being we'll have to get some bearings and set it in there and plastic gauge it. But man, that. I think we might have uh, we might have cheated the machinist and and got this cleaned up to where it's going to work for us. Oh yeah, totally. Yep. Looks I don't. Good. I don't. It didn't hammer. It. The only, no, it didn't hammer. The only thing is, there's a very slight groove here. It's like I can't hardly even, can't even grip it. But I can see it. It's it's polished up smooth. It's it's there's no there's no gougy spots that are gonna grab the bearing and spin it. This one looks like maybe it needs a little attention. I'm noticing, but I guess. But that one was clean. This one didn't do anything. That's just a little dirt. We gotta, we gotta clean the clean the crankshaft up good. It's got some stuff in it. The thrust surface is nice too. I don't see anything stuck to it. Yeah, and actually those thrust washers, which is just, uh, it, it, they go on just the main bearing cap, one on each side. They're like a half washer, and they look perfect in this thing. I didn't think they looked bad at all. So, and that's that's these guys over here. They're my bucket of. of assorted bearing parts which I have to be careful with we're gonna clean this whole mess up I don't know where they went maybe I took them out of this and put it in the other box I'll have to find them oh there they are these guys right here they look I mean they just the one side has got lettering on it you can still see where it didn't get any wear there's a little shiny spot there I think that's all the wear on this whole bearing and the the other one looks the same and the back side there's uh it, it looks good too. So, well, the back side obviously it doesn't doesn't spin, so it doesn't get spun against, I should say. And this is uh, actually kind of with this being a torque converter tractor, you never step on a you never step on a clutch pedal, and that's what really you know shoves that thrust yeah, washer. Not, put on that. So we never put pressure on that in this tractor. It's got the uh, casomatic drive, which is uh, basically a lock up torque converter, right, Con? Yep. That's Behind what that is. In front of a standard transmission. So. So we're pretty excited about this crank looking really, really, really good. So even after even after it locked it up, it, we still got her cleaned right up. And 
it's miking out nice. So a little bit of a little bit of uh, seal wear right there, but I don't know if we ought to get a wear race for that since it is on the inside of the track. You're split. <laughs> I mean, once yeah, we, I don't want that to be leaking. So we'll see if there's an available wear race we can put on that. There's just a little groove there, but. Yeah, we could should clean that up a little too, Con. Maybe we'll hit that with the a little bit of sandpaper, yeah. Yeah, so we went 320, right? We went 320 grit. Yep. Then we went 400 grit, and then we went 600 grit. And it just, it really cleaned it up nice. Yeah. All right, Good. so next thing is, uh, and we're not going to buy any China bearings. There's lots of, you know, you can buy rebuild kits on eBay, but we're not into that China stuff. I think that that... I'm more worried about China bearings and things like that than uh, than the fact that we just cleaned up this crankshaft and didn't take it to the machine shop. So, anyway, that's where we're at with this right now. We're going to clean up some of the bearing shells and see what the numbers say.